you notice my left hand is in the middle of the ball. It's, my pressure is is square in the middle, we're not to one third or two thirds. It's cutting the clay in half and it pushes the clay up. Now my right hand is going to go across again with the pressure directly in the middle is going to push the clay down. Again my right arm is on my leg wherever it feels comfortable. Again if it doesn't feel right it's not so then I'm going to push it up and my right hand is going to push it down and it's a, it's a slow transfer of pressure as your left hand pushes the clay up your right hand is still applying pressure to keep it in control and then you slowly transfer the pressure to down and as your right hand pushes down your left hand is still applying pressure to keep it in check it's just less of to allow it to move and get some movement in your clay if you do find little things i like to get rid of those little messy things center to throw a cylinder. But just keeping in mind with the pressure cutting in half this way, pushing it up, and this way pushing it down, the clay has nowhere else to go in the middle of both pressures in the middle. Notice my hands are joined when I can. And if you have your elbows on your knees and your hands joined, you have this sort of triangle of strength. And you want to make sure you get some movement in your clay. You have to push it hard enough to move the clay, but not push it right off the wheel. And also keep your clay quite moist. Um, don't worry about a lot of water at this point. When you're sitting down and first starting to pot, you have to worry about where your hands are, where your elbows are, are they joined, where your knees are, how fast should I go. And then the last thing that you need to control or worry about is water. It will come, I throw quite dry because I choose not to throw with a splash pan. I throw a lot of larger pieces and they simply just don't fit inside. Um, so that's centered for a cylinder. Let's look at this again from another angle. I'm going to put the clay down with a bit of attitude. If it's not near the middle, you can tell it to go there. My arms are at a comfortable place on my knees. I'm a comfortable I threw this platter a few days ago. It's leather hard. Actually, it's leather hard on the harder side of leather hard. I prefer to trim a bit softer, but a lot of times if you put a, a large platter on when it's fairly soft, there's a lot of weight between here and here and they'll slump. So this is firmed up enough to hold, its, to hold itself up. I have it on the bat. Just moisture holds this on the bat. I have just some water on the bat, on the rim of the platter. It keeps it stuck and I've leveled it. A lot of time when you're throwing, the bats aren't completely level and the bat you're trimming on isn't level so there's always a little bit of play in there. But you want to make the bottom when you're trimming completely level so if it touches all the way around with the needle it's level. If it touches only a little bit it'll show where the low, spot, low spots are. Lift them up and put a bit of clay under it until the needle touches all the way around and know it's level. And then you want it centered. Again, I'm only going to center when I'm trimming. I'm only trimming from here up and level from there down. So it doesn't matter if the rest of the platter is not completely centered because I'm not trimming the rest of the platter. I'm going to use a little uh, Kemper tool. I've used this shape forever. Um, it is, I think it's a Kemper K4, but I've used it for so long I buy it by shape and not by number. It's a great little tool. If it's comfortably in your hand, you have a hold of it. And it's a ribbon tool meaning it, uh, ribbons are thinner and they cut better. The wire tools are, are, I prefer not to use them. They're rounder and they don't cut, they're kind of going through like a plow. So I'm just going to hold on to my tool, my elbows on my knee, my arms into my ribs, my hands are joined, and I'm going to start cutting this, this platter. I don't like to put the, the rim the foot on the platter they do in the bowl. When I trimmed the bowl, I gave it what I called it a presence. And this one, I like it to put fit, to sit flat on the table, easy for me to say. And just sort of become one of the table. So I don't do a lot of trimming on the plate. 